came up with the idea of Clamp It Once because I always thought there's got to be a better way to grind block square rather than the traditional angle plate with the external clamps. They're heavy, they're clumsy, it's awkward to assemble. You have to reposition the clamps where I just thought there's got to be something a little bit better. Okay, you indicate this end. You indicate that flat and square. You would go across like that. Now, then to do you, and you would take it over on a grinder. Turn your magnet on. And then you would go and grind it. Going back to the other side. Turn your magnet on and go and grind it. And then you're done. But it's a little cumbersome. When you do this to switch the clamps, that's the highest probability that it's gonna move on you. And then you have to go and re-indicate it in because you're only clamping with one clamp and it can pivot then and move. That's your biggest chance of it moving right there. So I came up with the idea of, of utilizing uh, a plate with all the, the grid of tapped holes on there and then what you can use the clamp and utilize all those tapped holes for clamping a piece and mounting it to a fixture and then grinding your block square on two sides. And the clamp at one fixture is what I came up with. Flip it over and then they're the same thing on the other side. We take our component and put it on here like so and notice from the angle plate to this point there is no angle for it to move and flex it's very stable very accurate uh, i assemble the, the studs on the clamps bring them down we assemble it and put it on and they're positioned and they're ready to assemble and it's it will work at the correct height indicate it in I want to loosen this up a little bit there we go snug it down tighten it down and you're ready to go Throw it on the grinder, grind to one side, pull it off, flip it over to the second side, grind your second side, and you're done. Check your magnet. Check your magnet. 